two players or somewhere early in quarters. Plank versus Nintendo, matchup that Plank has struggled with for literally years. Yeah. But uh, Plex actually had some really close sets recently with him. Yep. He, he, he keeps not clutching it out, but like he keeps doing a pretty good job overall, but just to make it as close as it as it is. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is definitely a very rough matchup for Sheik. Yeah. Uh, and Nintendo's beaten some very good Sheiks. He's beaten uh, Kirby Kaze. I think he's beaten Swedish Delight. So yeah. he's got a good record. Good drug Fox. Yeah, Sheik. Drug Fox. Uh, beaten. Mewtwo King, I guess? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, he did take a game of uh, off of uh, Mewtwo King Sheik. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, already, Plank's gotten rid of Nana, so that's a very good start. And he can get rid of this first stock with this edge guard, possibly. Plank's, like, super good against pretty much any character that's not, like, Spacey's or whatever. And I feel like Icy's, like, once you get rid of Nana, it's kind of like he's playing against Eddie, floaty kind of character, and he's going to excel on that. But it's just getting to that point is so tough. And a very nice edge guard there by Nintendo. Makes this an even three stacks. And for the most part, Nintendo's keeping control of the main stage. It's very much how he likes to play just about every matchup. He'll keep control of the center ground and force his opponent to the platforms. But Plank's getting better and better playing that platform game, as you see right there. Falling through with a quick back air. Somehow killed Nana off of it. I think with his, like, how he's improved this match, it just is not. Stay, staying like as grounded as he would otherwise and not getting grabbed as much or not like over committing to a combo like once he gets a hit in his aerial oh it's that so post chain grab yeah that's unfortunate that's guaranteed up until like 30 percent so nothing he could really do but gets rid of that popo stock so plank maintaining this lead he needs to not get wobbled <laughs> staying in the air he goes <laughs> it was like right there was pretty risky when he was just, just kind of back aired and might have got like Grabbed out of shoulder, wave dash, grab out of shield. I don't know. But he's he's jumping as soon as he gets get jabbed or uh, blizzard or anything. I'm actually surprised he just power shield and ice climbers down there and didn't get anything for it. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. He's just continuing to make sure he holds onto the stock, not getting grabbed, just tacking on damage, little bits here and there. And if he can get Nana to a high enough percent, maybe a rogue back air or something will kill her. Yeah. I think a lot of times their their sets always end up with like uh, Nintendo approaching with like the double back air and then landing with the down smash and it, it always clips Plank. And Plank's gotten rid of Nana again with a really nice edge guard actually. Now he's just gonna get rid of Popo the easy way. Plank he, smart. He didn't hold that. Might have clipped him. Who knows? And Squall to down smash. He's gonna hold that edge. Will it be enough? Another down smash might do it. He actually got his jump back. I did not expect that. Oh. And that was right. supposed to be a down smash, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Slight flub. Oh. oh. And again, just <laughs> mashing down on the C stake. <laughs> and 118%. Plank just needs one rogue hit, but he also knows if he gets grabbed, he's taking a quick 30. And he does not want to have to deal with that, especially with both climbers on deck as soon as he gets rid of this stock. Yeah. There it is. I say the solid lead, but I don't know. As long as he doesn't get grabbed somehow. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> just it's taking that fair. Super low percent. And uh, that'll be a wobble. Oh, oh wow. Mashes it up. Match it, mashes out. A lot, of people, a, lot, a lot of people don't know that if, if you um, you try and mix up your DI on the down throw to not get re-grabbed, but if you hold in, that's just a free wobble setup. And that's what happened there, but Plank knew that and was able to mash out just in the nick of time. Yeah. That, his uh, Nintendo shield, at least on Sopa, was like almost gone completely. Oh, he's got him split up. He's going to send that's Popo off. Can he get rid of Nana here? Nana with the jab gets out of there. Just needs a just hit him with a, just a solid hit and then not get punished by the Nintendo so far. Yeah, he gets a full charge of needles, gonna throw him away. Good, retreating fair. Right as Nintendo was gonna come in, and he might have just gotten rid of Nana. And he did get rid of Nintendo with a great back air, some poor DI. And Plank takes game one. Good stuff to Plank. Uh, so this could be it. Could be the first time Plank. This could be fit finally. Yeah. Today could be the day. He's already up. That was a two stock in game one. Plank Plank, super solid. No mistakes at all.
He's already got him separated. Nana just doesn't feel like going back to Popo's side. There we go. She was just hanging out like, I'll just attack him from behind. <laughs> it's a worse feeling when you separate them and there's, you know, you have that opportunity or whatever, but you don't want to like overcommit to something and then you get them back together or you yep. just watch them get back together and it's like, uh Should have done something. Yeah. But if you do something and it's not perfect, you could pay for it pretty badly. Just, just a straight hit from Sopo. Oh. So if that was a down smash by uh, Nana, that could have been, I don't know, been really bad. And a bunch of up airs in a row. And another one actually trades with Fair. Don't see that very often. Oh, he could have just smacked uh, Nana. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't, honestly. And good read on the jump. They're at even percents. And he's not going to go for Nana. That was really smart because Nintendo had it scouted. Should really, uh, I feel like he really should just hit Nana, but I don't know. Who knows? The falling Nair actually pays off. And that back air will do it. Gets rid of Popo. Don't know what happened to Nana, but reappears on the platform and Plank gets a fully charged set of needles. Oh, Ooh, good down oh, smash. Tree DI. Yeah, Tree might have saved him a bit. No, the S smash will clean it up. So even three stocks. Just like game one. 3%. It's a huge difference. <laughs> I mean, if it goes to time, like. <laughs> yeah. That's well, almost two minutes in. So let's see. I'm surprised Plank didn't actually oh. up B stall near the leg. Oh, wow. And he mashes out. Great mash. Ooh, and he gets clipped with that. No double jump, forced to transform. And yeah, he's just going to give up that stock. Damn. Like, that's usually how it goes. It's just it's be some, like, really well placed hit. It can make all the difference. And oh. that could be a wobble. No, he mashes out again. So far, no successful wobbles from Nintendo in this whole set. Mike has been playing so smart. It's interesting seeing him go for Sopo and like kind of ignoring Nana for the most part. I I usually think it's better to go for Nana, but I don't know. It's working and for him. And this could be a wobble. Finally, Nintendo gets it. Plank says, "All right, good Plank stuff." Hates this stage, but I guess he knew that FD was going to be awful. Actually, he goes for a grab on Popo. See, so he gets off of it. The stage actually comes to Nintendo's aid. He's just going to sit down there, put out some up airs. Nice smack. And he is actually going to call Nana's <laughs> aid. I'm surprised she actually came to him there. Oh, my God. And that'll get rid of both of them. Double Plank, fair. making it work down off the cliff face. That hitbox that uh, the bicycles have, if you get really close to them, just barely tapped them, <laughs> popped them up. And he gets grabbed, no re grab thanks to that Pokemon Stadium platform. And he's just dancing around Nintendo Shield. Nintendo looking for a grab, he actually SDs. This but, this could be close. Yeah. I don't know if you saw there, like, Plank's really good at fishing out like when to hit a character that's wave dashing because they're invulnerable. You know, they're vulnerable for a little bit, like when they're doing that. And he was just, he just kind of waits. That's how he got that one fair in. As soon as he wave dashes in, then he can just smack him. And great, just eating the fair and down smashing. Good crouch cancel. As Nintendo takes game two, making it 1-1. And what's the counter pick? Is this three out of five or? Is this three out of five? No. Game three, this is the final game. There was, I, I want to say a weekly, like a couple weeks ago, and they said it was going to be three out of five from now on. Well, no, no, the rule is it's three out of five if we get to that point before a certain time. Oh, okay, I didn't and know. And I don't know if we did that today. Either way, they've agreed, it's best of three. Neutral start, Dreamland for game three. This gives Plank, yep. of course, a lot more space, still has platform movement, and he has places to retreat if uh, Nintendo starts to corner him. Uh oh. <laughs> I think he was probably trying to roll, uh, or maybe buffer roll, and uh, he uh, just came out as a forward smash. 
so far. Nintendo playing solid, hasn't been hit yet. Nana's taking some damage. Good, down smash. And on the top platform, he's still living. Needs to find a way back. This time goes for the ledge, nice. Interesting, roll behind down smash, gets punished for it. Too much lag on that down smash to... That'll do it. Oh wow, no, great DI. I don't think the hit was that strong, maybe it was... I don't know. It was in front of the climbers, it wasn't the back hit, and I thought he was gonna land closer to the edge and Nintendo was gonna hit him back off stage, but hitting him across stage ended up saving him there. That's, that's what keeps happening, and especially at the low percents, is that uh, Nana gets the hit, and then Tenu punishes with the sofa with either a grab or a uh, smash attack. Now they're super separated. Nana just kept jabbing in place, and he might even be able to get a stock here. No, a great recovery from Nintendo. Uh, and this could be it. He's DIing away. Oh, but then he DIs in, and that's a wobble. Can't mix up the climbers by DIing in at those low percents. So that is, I feel like he should have just smacked Nana. But, uh, so Nana came back and he was able to get the wobble in. Yep. Good snack. And then, dude, slowly starting to run away with this. Oh, we've got F tilt to fair. Can he get the edge guard? He gets rid of Nana. Now he, all he has to do is get rid of Popo, gets him with Nair. I'll uh, just grab him. Okay. Run off fair, smart. Three stocks to two. Now this is still doable for Plank, but it's Oof. it's a it's a mountain he's got to climb. A mountain made of ice. <laughs> Icicle mountain, <laughs> as it were. Yeah. Oh. Uh, probably that throw and foot was. Oh. And he has no that, jump. Yeah. That's super unfortunate. Playing down to his last stock. One wobble ends the set and puts Nintendo into Grand Finals. And goodbye, Nana. So he's, he's got something started here. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Gets a grab. Goes for a sweet spot back air. And now he just has to get this edge guard. Nicely done. Oh. Unfortunately, uppies. I don't think he meant to get on stage with that, obviously. <laughs> meant to grab the ledge. Good use of Nair, covering multiple options. And that'll do it. Jab, fair. <laughs> so he, if he plays another stock that well, it'll be last stock. Yeah. It's be tough. I like how he's he's going for fair jab because it's always shield poking because of how low Sopo's shield is getting. He's playing playing with fire here. He's getting so so close. Oh, but oh, if you wow, play with fire, you'll end up is, beating ice. It's pretty pretty amazing though. He's uh, pulling us back. This this might be the most if he actually wins this game, this will be the most amazing comeback oh. I've ever seen. DI away please. Oh. No. DIing in and he gets wobbled. And he just says, screw it, I'm done here. Yeah. Gives him the fist bump. Right. And such an unfortunate set. Plank will be in losers finals. Oh, got him backwards. Logic's a little Ooh. mad. Logic's running the stream. And what are we waiting on now? Is that uh, Cypher and Scrap Metal? I gotta play the winner of them. Are they so is that for fifth? I think they're playing for fifth. No, 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 that's mostly seventh. Yeah. So what's fifth? Do you play for fifth? 